Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back uh, to my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your uh, general love reading for June. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, or vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. If you click in the, uh, click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that. And that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on the camera. Okay, as I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your situation, if I don't pick up on your situation, you can always stick around. And sometimes there could be just messages throughout that just jump out and speak to you. So just give me a moment. I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. So uh, Aries, let's start your reading. Of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. Okay. So this is, this is someone that you felt you had to move forward from with the six there, Aries. Seems like at some point, just to you knowing more, come. I feel like this is not about you coming to accept, but definitely you knowing more, knowing more about this situation with this person. Maybe they're not ready. Um, maybe there's a, an awareness around them dating because we do have that three of, three of cups there. Uh, but there's some form of awareness or some form of knowledge or, and that's due to maybe time past experience that's caused you to say, okay, I'm going to move forward without this. I'm going to kind of move on from this person. I'm not sure what's going to happen next or where I'm going or how things are going to be. I'm going to take a risk with the full card because to be quite frank, it's like I've put, I've put work into this. I've done enough or I've done what I feel that I should do or could do, but it's not been enough. It's not materialized into anything. So I'm going to just kind of move, move on from this. Um, and I feel like there was also, again, like I said, we've got that three, the Three of Cups, which talks about just you maybe come into some form of, because we've got the Temperance card there, some form of acceptance around this person maybe not being ready yet, or this person still dating, or this person even being in some form of relationship or speaking to someone else. Um, it's like, okay, there's been some form of, except for a lot of you, this an acceptance around that, which contributed to you moving forward, uh, moving on. This attempted move of you kind of moving on. And your person... Your person is, um, we've got the king in there. So it seems like they're very much in their head. They're very much in their head, strategic in terms of just how they move with that king. Watching you move, move on or watching you move ahead with the six. But I feel like for a lot of you, because this is either them waiting for an idea or waiting for some form of solution or idea on how to handle this and being patient with that, or them having received some form of idea or solution around being patient with this situation because this person has to defend themselves like they was defending themselves maybe from mutual friends um mutual acquaintances or maybe just this person's inner circle it might just be this person's own inner circle where they're just not agreeing or hadn't agreed with what what they done or how they handled this there's some someone or people with the seven of, of wands there where this person felt like they had to defend their self or yeah, defend their self with something coming crashing down with messing up with something. It's like, you know, they messed up with you and now people around them are kind of being critical of that. We've got, we've got the seven as well there, which just brings us to where we are at the moment. You know, you're showing up as the page. So there's still a lot of love here, a lot of care that you do have towards this person. And you know, you, you coming together or the relationship is just, you know, that's that's pretty much at the forefront of your mind is this idea of having the Ten of Pentacles with this person. So the Ten of Pentacles represents fulfillment um, on a tangible level, you know, relationship, solidifying some form of relationship because there has been some form of emotional connection, strong as well, 
emotional connection that you've already developed with this person. There's a, a pull. I was going to say this natural pull towards them. Natural, nat natural attraction or draw that you have towards them. But there is this little bit of judgment that you have, which we'll get into in a minute with that judgment card there. Um, for a lot of you, this person is showing up as a seven of blades. So this is about, this is talks about sneaking behind the scenes. So for a lot of you, this person is most definitely checking out your social media, spying, lurking behind the scenes, <laughs> watching what you're doing, trying to find out what you're up to. I don't think you would be none of the wiser. I, I don't think you could pick up on this person. I feel like this person moves very smartly as well. That's even a word. But that came very strategic, very smart. Um, they plan their moves type of thing. So you might not even be aware that this person is lurking behind the scenes, not wanting to accept the situation with the two there. It's like, I don't want to even acknowledge that. I don't want to um, accept it. Or well, that's them not seeing something. But I feel like this is more about acceptance because the, the, we do have the four then and we have the four of pentacles. So it's like <clears throat> keeping, keeping, keeping certain things to their stuff. I don't feel like this person shares much. Well, especially if this has gone on in the past, shares much with people around them. You know, it's like, for example, you know, everyone around them knows that the relationship is finished, but only they know they're still holding on to this. Only they know that they're still in this non-acceptance uh, headspace, but they're keeping it to themselves because ultimately they want this to turn around, turn around. There is this sense of disappointment that, that, that if I can speak, there is this sense of disappointment that they do feel. But funny enough, though, um, Aries we got the the wild card there so with this disappointment there is this some form of awareness or um because the wild card talks about the wild card is like the end card of the fool's journey which represents the tarot deck um and so the wild card talks about you know having gone through enough experiences to now know more to now see different to have a different perspective on something so i feel like in some weird funny way that this disappointment, you moving forward, moving on, has given this person, because we have the lover's card there, has made this person even more attracted to you. You know, and there, and with that, this sense of urgency with the Knight of Souls there, the sense of urgency. Like I said, this is all happening behind the scenes. You might not have spoken to this person for a while, you know, but they're lurking. You wouldn't even know it because there's no traces of them doing that um but just your absence is kind of making them more attracted to you i'm gonna say that though uh, but there is a bit of judgment let's go back to this judgment i said we've got this judgment that you do have around you advancing you being able to bring this relationship or even have an opportunity you know it's like when is there am i even gonna have an opportunity to build with this person again is there ever going to be a an opportunity that presents itself. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's like, I just don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how. And that could just could be due to you not having spoken to this person for a long time as well. But it's like, you just don't see it. You just don't see it. So you're trying to be emotionally mature about this um, effectively. Not knowing, not getting an idea, or not even sensing what's going on behind the scenes when it comes to this person, this person here. So really, you know, usually at this point, we kind of move into part two, get a fuller picture, see where this moves to. But I will be implementing that next week, guys, so look out for that. But as it stands, you know, you're not, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I feel like this person, for a lot of you, could have been dragging their feet. Um, you, you was patient with them in the past. And then you just kind of came to some form of realization that, you know, this person's just not ready. This person's not ready. I can't hang around. And wait on this person. So I'm going to move move forward. I'm going to move ahead. But in some weird, strange, delicious type of way, what that's done is it's caused this person to be even more attracted to you. Uh, just that move alone has kind of given this person, yeah, the, you, you've become more highly attractive towards this person. But also it kind of frees up your energy as well. It kind of puts you in a different space energetically. Yeah, 
And what space is that, I hear you say? The space of not needing for something to happen. Um, a space where you're more relaxed around this. Yes, you still, you know, there's still feelings there. There's still emotions there. There's still this want or this idea of, you know, what it would be like if, you know, there's an opportunity for us to kind of get into a relationship. And ultimately that is still on your mind. But it hasn't got this needy attachment type of energy to it. Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. So I feel like this person is going to reach out or there's going to be some form of move that this person makes to gain some form of contact with you. Like I said, they're spying on you. Spying on you. Not accepting that this has kind of come to an end. Um, so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week. Bye.